Why do you keep me outside? I've been running for the past 10 minutes and you're in there doing what? I'm sorry, I was taking my shower. I you're taking your shower? I didn't hear you. By this time? Do you know what time is? This is 5 p.m. in the evening. Are you still betting? You just betting? Mm -hmm. Eh? Are you stupid? Can't you see that you are irresponsible? You're foolish. Come here. Go and open that gate. Go, I said, come here. Come here. You're enjoying my house, enjoying my money. Simple thing. Open the gate for me. You can't open. Your phone is switched off. I've been calling you. Since morning, it's network. It's network. Come here. Open that gate. Okay. Are you stupid? I said, go. <laughs> Is ready. Yes. What food? Huh? What food? Your, your food. <laughs> you see, Angel, you think you're smart, but you don't know I'm the smartest. Huh? So after hitting you outside, you want me to eat your poison food, right? Poison. You want me to eat your poison food? Babe, Listen. I did not poison. Shut up! Shut up! You useless smart. I am not called Lord Blugard in vain. There is a reason I'm being called that name. Madam of Ma, you think you're smart. You want to poison me in my own house. No. It will never happen. Okay? Now you go and eat that useless food of yours. I'm off to an eatery to buy my own food. Tolo Tolo, animal. Keep you waiting outside for for so long. Please, I promise I will never do that again. I was betting when you came back. That's why. Do you know you're very stupid? Hmm? You're senseless. You're mad. You're confused, Mambi. So you think this is the right time for you to apologize, huh? Of all time, this is the right time for you to apologize. Are you a human being? When I'm eating, you don't know table manners. Well, I don't blame you. You're a local village girl. Who brought you up? 
local woman. Who raised you up? A local man. Is this how you train my unborn children? Huh? Fool. You want me to eat your, your, your poison food? I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. That is all you only know how to say. What else do you know how to say? Huh? Apart from I'm sorry. Every single time, I am sorry. You go out, you misbehave, I am sorry. You prepare nonsense food, I am sorry. You can't wash my coat properly, you are sorry. What else do you know? Eh? Tell me. What else do you know? Foolish girl. Mannerless fool. Idiot. Nitwit. Shenanigan. Bastard. Animal. What gecko? Don't disturb me again. If I choke here, I will choke you to death. If I choke, I will choke you to death. Mark my words. Okay. I'll just leave you to eat your food. Hey, hey! Where do you think you're going to? Hey? What you said? This is what you I said, come back here and eat that. You don't have table manners. You don't know table manners. And I'm eating you, you're disturbing me. And you want to leave. You will neither here or to accumulate this food. Food. Close your eyes. You're welcome. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Look at you. Come on. You are really enjoying. <laughs> My sister is good. Oh. Now God, the runner. And this your hair? It must be expensive. Oh. Of course, it is expensive. And guess what? Look at what is for me while returning from one of these trips overseas. <laughs> oh my God! But then, Angel, I don't like the way you dress. I don't like it. It doesn't suit your standard. Oh, this! Yes. It's nothing, my sister. Listen, this is how Lugard wants me to be looking. I don't know what's wrong with Lugard. Maybe he's obsessed with me or something because that dude, God, he doesn't want any guy around me. Like, he will tell me, do you wear this? I don't want you to wear shorts. I don't want you to dress sexy. I don't want other guys to be looking at you. I want you all to myself. I don't want to share. I'm like, he? The guy is now so protective. My sister, if dressing like this will make my man not to cheat on me, no problem. See levels. <laughs> See levels. So, babes, I want you to hold him tight. Uh -uh. Hold him tight. Though. Don't even, don't even stagger. Hold him tight. You tell me. Ha. Boyfriend has scars these days. My so. sister. Not to talk of your Luga that is rich. That hmm? takes care of me, he takes He's care of my mother. Care everything. No. Hold him tight, please. Oh, huh. yes, my sister, I've got the best man on earth. I'm telling and you, I am not going to leave him alone. No, no, you're not, not leaving him for wow. anybody. <laughs> you... Oh, oh. Baby. yeah, baby. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cassie, you here? Yes. <laughs> good to see you. Same here. I hope my girl is taking good care of you. As you can yes. see. <laughs> it's obvious. I mean, it's crystal clear you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> uh, baby. Yes, baby. Can I see you upstairs, please? Oh. All right. Uh, yes, baby. I'll meet you. All right, all right. <laughs> um. Yes. Because I have to go and attend to my husband. I'm coming. Oh my god. This is every girl's dream. Look, when will you shine on me? When? Come 
look at me when I'm talking to you. Are you stupid? How dare you? Huh? How dare you bring in your useless friend into my house without my permission? Wunyara! Are you mad? Oh, you've grown, right? You've grown. No, I, 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 I. You, you, you what? You shut up your useless mouth. Now listen, I'm giving you just one minute. Go downstairs and tell that useless girl to leave my house. If I come there and see her, both of you will leave. I will forcefully throw you both outside. I'm understood. Get out! Get out! Get out! Foolish girl. You brought a stupid girl into my house. That's my permission. Who are you? Is this your house or my house? Nonsense. Ooh. Just one minute! One minute! Yes, I'm fine. I just hit my head on the wall while coming downstairs. But um, do you need anything else? No. All right. Um, the thing is, my my husband. Yes, he sent me on an errand. He said I should go and get something at the shopping mall down the road. So I. I want to go right now. Okay. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll just I'll, see you. Off. No problem. I'll take my leave there. All right. Bro, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I keep hitting my head on that wall. I'm tired. It's and fine. What? Sorry. Oh. Cassie. Yes. Are you leaving already? Yes. Okay. And just said she's going out to run some errand, and then she hit her head on the on the door post. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know why she always hits her head on that particular door. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but certainly I must change that door tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I must get a new one so she she'll be careful next time. That Baby, fine. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm it's sorry. All right. Mm -hmm. it's I love it. I love you so much. <laughs> you see this your friend she's the best thing that has ever happened to me mm, i can't do without her again. she's my <laughs> angel my world best my everything i trust my babe <laughs> <laughs> i'm still here yeah i'm sorry you see this your friend here Oh my goodness, I cherish her so much. In fact, I adore the day she was. Princess, I trust you. She's my goodness. I can't do without her. <laughs> <laughs> Baby smile. <laughs> you see. Um, Cassie, I, I, I have no cash with you here. But just put your account number, okay? Let me transfer something for you for wow. the transport. Yes. That's so that's good. Okay. Baby, I love you, okay? I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What bank, please? Assess that. Assess that. Babe. Babe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cassie in the VC. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> sent. Wow. I just sent you 50,000 there. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. manage it for your transport. Eh? Thank you very much. You're welcome. And Joe. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Yeah. It's about the money you promised to send to my mother. How much? A hundred thousand naira. Well, 
I will send only about 50,000 naira to your mother. Babe, why? We agreed on 100,000 naira. You, you, you promised to send her 100,000 naira. Yes, I promised. So what happened? But I'm deducting 50,000 naira I sent to your friend. <gasps> so your mother and your friend will share the money. 50, 50. Is that not wonderful? Why? You're asking me. My friend did not force you to give her the money. You willingly gave it to her. Oh, yes. I did that to hype you. Yes, I gave her the money to hype you because you are a big girl. How dare you bring your useless friend into my house? No respect. You brought her into my sitting room. She was sitting there comfortably, enjoying my luxury chair, drinking my juice, and eating my chin chin. Eh? You're saying nonsense. If you send no sense again, I will send her another 50,000 naira and then your mother will get nothing. Idiot. Leave my sight! Leave here! Meet with. You want 100,000? Animal. In fact, tomorrow, call the second one. Okay? Call the second one, I will still send her 50,000 naira. The next day, call the third one, I will still send her 50,000 naira. Let me see how your mother will make money again. Animal. I'll be busy sending money to your mother, sending money to your family. All you do is to bring useless friends and eat and enjoy my house. Why do you always buy me gifts after hitting me? Baby, Why? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for hitting you. You see, I love you so much. That is why I bought all this for you. And I am meant for you. You are meant for me. We are meant for each other. I don't want to share you with another man. Okay? That is why I'm being overprotective. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. That is what you keep saying. You will never hit me again. You, but, but you, 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 you will still repeat it. Sorry. You see, you are the only woman for me. And I'm the only man for you. The reason I'm being overprotective is because I don't want to share you with anyone. I'm sorry. And I bought all this for you because I love and cherish you. Leave me alone. Stop telling me sorry. You will still hit me tomorrow and buy me more gifts. I will not hit you again. That brother. is what you keep saying all the time. I'm sorry. Okay? Forgive me. Please. Forgive me. Forgive me. Huh? Forgive me. What is it now? Eh? I've been apologizing. You, you, you can't even say you, you've had me. You can't even say anything. What is all this? Eh? Will I... Sorry. All right. I'm sorry for shouting at you. But you see, I love you so much, okay? The love is intoxicating me. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I love you so much. Come here. Mm. 
as may be. You see why I love you? You're so soft. So soft and tender. <laughs> your lips. Your lips is killing me. Let's go to your room, okay? Let me massage you. Make love to you like crazy. Treat you like a queen that you are. Promise you. You will love this one. You will love it. You're going to flog me. I'm not, I will not flog you. Okay? I will take it easy on you. What did you just say? Repeat it. I said I I want to go and look for a job. Yes, I I don't want my, my, my degree to be a waste. Bravo. I want to be <laughs> useful too. Bravo. But you see, you lie. Yes. In fact, you're the biggest liar in this world. You think I don't know? You know, most of the times you feel you're the smartest. Huh? But you know why they call me Lord Lugard? Because I am way smarter than everybody. I am way smarter than you. And man, you want a job. Eh? You want a job so that you have that opportunity to go out and see different men and open your legs for them. Okoya? No. Eh? Babe. You and I know that I can never cheat on you. You won't even try it. You won't try it. The day you cheat on me, that day I will kill you with my hands. Idiot. You want a job. Your useless friends you have that are working class girls, how much do they make? Are they richer than you? Are they better than you? How much do I give you every week? No, tell me. How much do you make every month from me? Eh? Yet, your useless friends come to my house and I even transfer money to them. And you're here telling me you want to go out and work. Eh? You want to go out and walk? Look at your useless head. Eh? Those your useless Ashawo vibes is now coming back. Okay? Your useless Ashawo vibes that you started in the village is not coming back to you in the city. You want to go out and see different men. You're not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Read my lips. If I see you step out mm. from this house any day to look for a job, that day you will die. If I hear that in the next time for a month, I will deal with you. In fact, get out. Be careful the things you do. Be careful how you treat people Cause life is not what you think it is Be careful the things you do Be careful how you treat people Cause life is not what you think it is Sometimes you can have a precious gold in your hands But you don't know what you are holding yeah. If you are not careful, someone will take it away, away from you. Oh no, oh no, no. Good things are not always great. What is it? Why are you following me? Do you want to kidnap me? I'm going to school right now. What is it? I am not a kidnapper. Listen, my name is Dozier. Do you believe in love at first sight? I fell in love with you the very moment I set my eyes on you. <laughs> Another storyteller. I don't shift. I will follow you to the end of the world. It's either you give me your number or your attention. It's the audacity for me. What impetus? Listen to me, young man. You better respect yourself and get it out of my way. Nonsense. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What do you want from me? What is it? It's just your number or your attention. That's all. That's all I want. I am taking. Oh, yes. Oh, and I love my man so much. I don't want to cheat on him. Okay, we can be friends. Mm -mm. Yeah, just friends. Just give me your number so we could talk on the phone. That's all. Hold it there, young man. I'm not interested. Please. Just friends, that's all. I'm not asking for too much. Friends.
just No, what's this? What's the meaning of this nonsense you say? Eh? I want you laughing. Why are you? What, what's the meaning of this nonsense you're committing from a useless mouth? Eh? That you went out, a man was talking to you, and then you gave him your number. How is it funny? I, I, I did not give him my number. So what happened? I ignored him and left. You ignored him and left. Eh? You ignored him and left. Just like that, and you want me to believe you. Right? So you brought this, your sour lifestyle, from the village down to the city. Prostitute. Idiot. You ignored him and left. And now you're telling me a man was talking to you. A man was doing this. A man was doing that. Without asking for your number. Eh? Without asking for your number. For my number and then you didn't give him your number. And why were you laughing? Why are you telling me all this nonsense? Now you. Baby, I was just Shut up. You. Shut up. I was just gisting you. Shut up. You see? You will never leave this house again. Yes. You will never leave this house again. Every time you tell me you want to go and see your useless friends. So this is what you do. This is what you do. You go out and see different men. This will be the first and last time you will leave this house. Am I understood? Now you live here before I change it for you. Live here! Just, 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 just love A, 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 a man saw you and he was, he was talking to you. He asked for a number and you refused. And you're telling me you want me to believe. Anima. This girl will never leave this house again. The pampering is too much. It's too much. You know what to do. I'm serious. You think I'm joking? When? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, okay. What should I get for you? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, tell me. Hey, give me that food. Give me that food. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Huh? Who are you talking with on the phone? Stupid girl! Useless girl! This phone you can never see it again! Never! Useless girl! You want to become a prostitute in my house, right? You are talking to that useless boy, right? Right? What? I was talking to my, 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 my mother. You are talking to your what? Are you mad? Oh, you thought I don't know? Eh? I knew it! I knew it! You exchanged number with that useless stranger you made the other day! Fine! I know what to do to you! I know what to do to you! You cannot disgrace me in my house! Never! I know what to do to you! This year! Oh God! Good afternoon, Mama. How are you doing? Oh, yes, on the phone. Okay, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I saw her when she was talking to you, but suddenly her, her, her phone just fell down and, and scattered. Yes, but I, I, I will fix it. I will fix it. I will buy her another phone. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know it's expensive, but you know your supposed son-in-law is is very rich. Yeah, I'm the richest in town, so I will just. Buy her a new phone. Nothing, nothing to worry about. If you want to reach I or oh, should I should I give her the phone now? Okay, later. Okay. Alright, ma. Take care. I don't know what to do. 
friend, take those bags inside. Am I not talking to you? Angel, I said, take those bags inside. I'm leaving your house. I am leaving your house for good. <laughs> My friend, will you come back here, idiot? Look at this nitwit. You want to leave? No, go. Go. You think I will beg you? Never! You don't know me. I'm a full speck, factory fitted, black boy with pink lips. Once you leave, thousands and millions of girls will come in here crawling, begging for me to be their man. Look at this animal. I'm even helping your low life. You said you want to leave. Go! You think any man will choose you? Do you think any man will see you and love you? Never! Now, take those Filthy bags of yours inside the house. Am I understood? If you're waiting for me to apologize to you, it will never ever happen. Look at this animal. A fine boy like me with pink lips. Have you ever seen a boy with pink lips before? Never. And he wants me to apologize to you. It can never happen. Fat, I know what to do. Take this. This is my card. Buy whatever you want to buy. Drink whatever you want to drink. Have fun for all I care. Take nonsense. If you're waiting for me to apologize, it will never happen. I'm a full spec. Full spec. Husband material. Animal. Still of you to be happy. My friend, take this nonsense and open this gate. Open this gate. Idiot. Your sister did there. I said open this gate before I hit you. Open this gate. I'm happy. I'm happy on this level. Open it. Hey, Angel, listen, by the time I come back, I want you to prepare white rice, chicken sauce, and strawberry juice. Am I understood? Am I understood? Look at this idiot. I said, am I understood? What do you say is yes or no? You don't know your head. Am I understood? She's still there. You girl doesn't know me. You don't know me. You might have more You might have more What do I say? What did I say? What did I say? Huh? What did I say? What did I say?
what did I say? White rice and chicken with juice. Okay? Make it snappy. Nonsense. Stop you, please. Hey, what is your problem? Huh? Listen, you know you cannot deny me your body. I own this body. But if you claim otherwise, you know I can get it elsewhere. Huh? You know girls love me. I am the ladies' man. Everybody. Every girl want to cheer with me. Just a snap of my finger, they will fly in here. Look at this is my problem with you. This is my problem with you, look at. You are so proud. I know you have numerous girlfriends, but can you at least stop rubbing it on my face? Stop it already! I know your problem, but you can bring your friends to the house. Okay? And I will send your mother the hundred thousand naira. I promised her. I will not deduct anything from that money. Yes. And I will also give you hundred thousand naira so that you can flex with your friends when they come. Okay? Now come here. Leave me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, baby. I'll make it 200,000. Just for you. Come here. Come and kiss me. Kiss the lips of life. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are you struggling with my lips? You want to bite it off? Just, 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 just come and flog me. Come and do your normal thing. Let me sleep. Come and flog me. Stop, stop acting as if you are romantic. You're not romantic. You are not. I like that. Come and flog me. Let me sleep. Let's flog me and do your thing. Let's take it to Cloud 9, okay? Which Cloud 9? Come and flog me and shift my wound. Let me sleep. Leave me alone. Let <laughs> me shift that. Just come and shift my womb. That's all you know how to do. Eh? You will not even allow me to get wet. You just you just penetrate like that and then shift my womb. You like it. I'll like what? Come and flog me. Flog me and, and do your thing. Let me let me sleep. Flogging me like a dog. Leave me alone. Stop acting romantic. You're not romantic. Do this and let me sleep. <laughs> so, oh Angel C, we have to start going because I want to visit all the new joints in town. Really? Yes. <laughs> hey. And I know one year see money no go rich. Ah. Oh. Even if money no rich, Mr. Lugard is there. 
He is unshakable, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are something else. You are something else. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, girls. Let me just go and apply a little makeup. Change mm -hmm. something better. I'm coming back. They are waiting. Okay. <laughs> Don't keep us waiting. All right. Me too. <laughs> oh. Where are you going? Dressed like a Jamaican prostitute. Huh? Babe, I, I told you I'm going out with my friends. I told you. You told me you're going out with your friends and you have this heavy makeup on your face. How many times have I told you that I don't like this useless makeup on your face? Huh? Babe, it's just a mild makeup. It's not. Shut up your stupid mouth when I'm talking to you. Keep quiet and listen to me. And this short thing you're wearing. You want to go out like this, dress like 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 a, like like a prostitute, huh? Now you listen. If you want to go out, if you're really sure you want to go out, take this nonsense makeup off your face and also change this short thing you're putting on. Don't you know you should dress responsible, huh? Check, my friend. Listen, don't provoke me. Remove those makeup on your face. I want to see those useless friends of yours. Okay, I'm watching you and I'm giving you two minutes to do that. Remove those nonsense from your face, animal. I'm giving you just five seconds. Five seconds. One. Remove it. You want, you want to bam bam, eh? You want to chill with the big boys. Idiot. Two. Three. You're still there. And what's keeping her? I don't know. She should do and call more. Let's go and flex. I can't wait to, you know. <laughs> oh. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. And all the nothing. It seems like you've been crying. What's up? No, not at all. <laughs> I have not been crying. You see, while I was trying to fix my contact lens, I mistakenly put my hand inside my eyes. Oh. Like my finger. Yes. Is that so? Yes, that's Sorry. It. It's fine. Are you sure you are alright, Angel? Sure, I'm fine. I didn't bother applying more makeup because I'm already beautiful and I'm not looking for a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're all fine. Yeah, go to this. He has a list of what I want you to buy for me. This is my card. Okay. Um, what is the time? What is it by your time? 4 30. Yes. Right? I want you to go to the mall and it's on by 5 30. Making it one hour. I'm understood. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Eh? Foolish girl. Dumb head. What don't you understand? Huh? Listen, according to Google Map, 
from here to the shopping mall is just 20 minutes. I'm giving you 15 minutes to buy everything in this list. Then 5 minutes for traffic or whatever. Okay? Then 20 minutes for you to return back to this house. Making it 60 minutes. One hour. Okay? I'm understood. Yes. Move it. But what if I... Your time starts now. Go. And um, one more thing. Okay? Get me two packs of condom. <gasps> you know my favorite. Two packs. That's my ATM with you. Two packs of condom. Keys, precisely. Hello, babe. It's not what I think. Yes, the traffic was much. The traffic was much. Yes. Huh? Check your time. The time I gave you has elapsed. What were you doing for the past 10 minutes? The traffic was much. Like the first... traffic was much or you were having a quickie? Huh? Yes! No, no, no. I wasn't having any quickie with anybody. Are you mad? What were you doing for the past 10 minutes? Come here. Come here. I was not having any. Come here, you mad? Are you stupid? Huh? We are busy having a quickie with.
with your useless boyfriend and you catch me waiting. Yeah, How dare you? you? Not with anybody. Are you shouting at me? Huh? The traffic was much. The traffic was much. Fine. Go inside. Open your legs. Remove your panties. I want to penetrate you. And if I perceive anything like spam, then bet me. I will kill you. I will kill you because you're becoming useless in this house. Go inside. Open your legs. Go in. Come here. Come here. Where's my car? Where's my car? Ah! Oh! You gave my car to your useless boyfriend. Right? Listen to me, please. The traffic was much and I was trying to keep to your time. The time you gave me. Where's my car? You left my car at the junction, eh? To see your boyfriend so he can have a quickie, right? The traffic was much. Then who brought you home? Who brought you home? You took bike, eh? Can you yourself speak? You took bike and you left my car at the traffic. What traffic was that? Eh? What traffic? The one at Summit Junction. Oh, Summit Junction. Yes. Good. Summit Junction. Good. Give me my things. Let me have the things I ask you, right? Get up. Get inside. Go inside. Come here! Come here! Get my cat! My cat! You do! Stop it! Stop it, Joshua! No problem! No problem! Stop it, Joshua!
much money. <laughs> hey. 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 Yes. Mama, Mama, see. I love your daughter. She's the best. She's the best. Please go and see that, my in law. I'll give you see, my daughter is lucky. She's a ranger. <laughs> Please come and sit down. Okay. Come and sit down. Yes. I'm coming. Just sit down. Let me move over there. What is your problem, doctor? Mama, there, there, there is no problem. How would you say nothing? When you look worried, it's written all over you that something is actually wrong with you. Angel, I am your mother. I know it when my child is not happy. When you're moody, when you're feeling bad, I know. So talk to me. Is there anything you're hiding from me? No, Mama. I... I'm just scared of marriage. Yes. Mama, I have heard so many sad stories about marriage. I don't want... When I finally get married to you, God, my own will scatter. Hey! God forbid. Not when I'm alive. <laughs> Do you realize who your mother is? Oh, it's not possible that I will sit and watch my daughter's marriage scatter. I'm banana. Onye Maria, agwari agwo. Ha, how do you possible? Eh? Angel, you may hear stories of people who their marriage is scatter. However, they want to do it is not our business. It is not our portion. Your marriage will not scatter. Now, tell me what your problem is. Eh? Don't bother yourself with what does not concern you. When I hugged you out there, your body was hot. What is the problem? I, I have malaria. Yes. But I'm already on medication. Are you sure you're taking medication? Yes, ma'am. Huh? <coughs> Please, take care of yourself. Eh? And don't bother yourself about anything. As long as the young man is not maltreating you, he's good to you. Please, don't even allow anything to bother you at all. I beg you. Oh, have that young man proposed to you and you're hiding it from me? No, ma no, not at all. He has not proposed to me, but he will soon. Ah. So you should not bother yourself, you see? So that by the time he proposed and now come for the marriage proper, you look beautiful in your wedding dress. Eh? Oh, he me no and and no ze kwa kabun. You now look like bone and be people will not ask. Hey, are you sure this one can survive this marriage at all? Then you tell me that marriage wants to scatter. I don't want to see you bother yourself anymore. Do you hear me, Angel? Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, ma. Can't you not miss you? Why is your face like this? And um, where, where is Angel? 
Logad. Mama. What is wrong with Angel? Nothing is wrong with her. Did she tell you anything? Logad, I'm very, very upset with you. Yes. Angel, did you tell Mama anything? You offended me so much by not telling me that my daughter has money. Ah. <laughs> ah, Mama, you, you scared me. Ah. You scared me. Ah. Maybe I did, but I must tell you, my daughter is always scared of taking drugs whenever she's sick. She prefers injection. Please, I advise whenever she's ill, Take her to the hospital, Biko. <laughs> of course, Mama. Of course. I mean, you don't need to tell me. You don't need to advise me. It's my duty. It's my duty to take care of her. And um, her injection is by 5 p.m. today. Today? Yes, today. Uh -huh. And um, the time is um, after 3 already. Okay. So we should be hitting the city. Uh, uh, ah, please. Let me go and get uh, the cassava and the vegetables I have a set for you. Uh, Mama. Uh, no, Mama, it's okay. Don't bother, eh? No, don't bother. Don't bother. We'll just leave at once. No, Mama, don't bother. Don't bother, Mama. Angel crying will not solve this. I advise you leave if you can no longer take the molestation before it becomes too late. And how could you say that? How could you, Ada? You want her to leave such a luxury relationship just because you occasionally beat her? Hold on. You call that occasionally? <sighs> Angel, do not listen to Ada. Do not listen to her. Men loaded with cash and ready to spend like Lugada had to come by these days. Stick with him. He might change someday. Please. Kasi, are you kidding me right now? Oh, you are unbelievable. Unbelievable how, Ada? I am speaking reality here. I am speaking reality. Do you know that boyfriends are hard to come by these days? Not to talk of the one that is ready to take her to the altar in a few months' time. Okay, if she leaves now, do you know the monster she's going to meet? That's if she will meet any. There's this saying that the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. So I will advise you, Angel, please, just, just stay with him. Ah, my goodness, I'm so confused right now. My girl. You don't have to be I confused. Still, I still insist. If you can no longer take it, you leave before it becomes too late. Can we just get out of here, please? That reminds me, I do not like the way you were busy advising Angel to stay glued to a, a violent partner. Ada, now this big, big English they cause trouble for this our country. I heard in the olden days our forefathers do keep cane for their wives. Now the normal norms be that. Now the normal norms, not the reason now. You know, you are just blinded by Lugard's words. As for me, his words means nothing. I mean nothing to me because He's not a gentleman. Ada, you are just running your mouth like a sports star. Just because you are not in the labor market. <laughs> so not having a boyfriend or girlfriend makes one to be in a labor market. Before uncle, all are the same searching for work now. It's better she stay and endure. She should just endure the whole thing. It's better to be slapped in Dubai than to be slapped in Ajegule. She should stay and endure with, with all the money. So I don't know what you are talking about though. Hmm. If you like, shoot me with your eyes, nothing will happen. The truth should be told. Because I do. It's not even necessary. Just keep being blinded by his money. One day.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry you met my absence. I went to hang out with my friends. I'm sorry. That's all you know how to do. Go out there. Hang out with your useless friends. Lavish my money. Squander my money. Money squanderers. Go out there, gossip. Eat my money. No, let me ask you. Have you made one kobo in this house before? Eh? I go out there, walk my ass out for you to be eating and enjoying my money. By the way, I went to the kitchen to prepare noodles and there was no sardine left. What happened to them? It's finished. It's finished. <laughs> It's finished. You were about telling me. Can you hear yourself speak? Eh? What do you know how to do in this house? Only food. Eat, eat, eat. You eat in the morning. You eat semi morning. You eat in the afternoon. You eat semi afternoon. And at night, you eat four times a day. Four good times every single day in my house. You don't even make money. Do you? Have you ever made? One kobo in this house, eh? Yet you go out there and lavish my money with your useless, foolish, nitwits of friends. Animal. Listen, don't even bring those crocodile tears. I don't want to see them, okay? If I see them, I will just disfigure your face. Now, go to the kitchen and make me noodles with sardine. Animal, when to see your friends. Useless gear. Foodie. Listen, I'm just giving you five minutes. Five minutes. I don't care where you get those sardines from. Five minutes, noodles plus sardines. Use three. Three sardines. Animal. To a new phone. Sorry for hitting you. Look at it. iPhone 13 Pro Max. You 
the harlot. Adios. <laughs> are, are you Beat me! Beat me! Woman Peter! Shame on you! Beat me! Continue! Beat me! Beat me! That's all you know how to do! Beat me! Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You know how much I got this phone! You know how much I got this phone! Beat me! Beat me! Beat me! Beat me! Come here! to be trusted. How could Alex cheat on her? Can't say put yourself to It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, stop crying. See, I understand how you feel. I'm so sorry, alright? Like he cheated on you with three side chicks, not even one. Jeez! Point of correction, they are not side chicks. Be my mean is not yet married to her. Ada. That's harsh. Well, that's true. I know why did you say that? What are you insinuating, Ada? You're mocking me, right? Aren't you? It's okay. Yeah, I because it's you. okay. It's okay. Stop, Stop crying. It's alright. Ada, it's not your fault. It's Alexi's fault. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm done with that caricature called a relationship. Cassie, don't say that. Listen to me. No relationship is perfect. I mean, take a very good look at me. So Mine is not perfect. Obviously. I mean, just look at your face. I don't just understand you. Can you just tell me what you're still doing? Do you want this guy to kill you? Eh? <laughs> See? I don't want to attend your burial. You're not serious, Ada. <laughs> it's okay, sorry, stop crying. It's Downstairs with my friends. They came to see me. You've been downstairs with your friends? Yes. At like this. Huh? With this bruises on your face. Oh, I see. You went to gossip. Right? You went to gossip me with them. I did not gossip. I mean, I, I, I did not do Shut up! Animal! So why did you go down like this? Why don't you apply makeup on your face to cover th those bruises? Makeup? I thought you said you, you, you don't like makeup. So? I don't like makeup. So you went downstairs with your useless face like this. So your face will feel I handle and maltreat you in this house. Right? Why didn't you apply heavy makeup on your face? Eh? Why didn't you patch your face with makeup? Bobby, I, I Shut up! Listen. The next time. You have bruises on your face. Patch it up. Okay? Apply heavy makeup to cover your useless face. The next time you show your useless friends your face like this again, bet me I will do worse than this. It's a promise. Scallywag.
Life saver, this one is too hot. I'm telling you, where are you going to? Ah. Angel, what? Are you okay? Uh huh. I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine. I've never seen you wear a scarf before. I'm fine, I'm okay. Angel, I know you like back of palm. It's Lugard, right? Your breakfast is ready. Babe, wake up. Your breakfast is ready. I brought you breakfast in bed. <laughs> hey, why are you disturbing my sleep? I, I'm tired, please. Allow me to rest. Babe, wake up. Babe. Mm -hmm. I brought you breakfast in bed. What is this? Breakfast. Breakfast? Yes. What kind of breakfast is this? Boiled egg. Yes, baby. You like boiled egg. Moi. And this, this nonsense. Eh? Local girl. You see why I keep calling you a local girl? Titi local. Champion. Like, will you take this nonsense out of my face? Prepare the egg come in. Fast, stay there. 
همین تیشو out to get sexual satisfaction from other guests since you're too lazy to satisfy me animal is this what you're saying to me is this what you're saying to me after flogging me like a dog yes why can't you scream you know i love sex i love it every day why can't you scream my name why useless gear i'm going out to enjoy myself Animal, the next time I come back, if you don't scream my name, I will still leave you and go out. How do you expect me to scream your name when you're flogging me? What kind of thing is this? You don't even want to touch me. You don't even want to make me to be like a woman. You just be flogging me like a dog. Have you had me banging me? Is that how you make love? <laughs> Bring them inside. Well, I, I, I thought we agreed on you getting a washing machine. It's not in your year here getting, getting a, a washing machine. Look at this idiot. Can you operate a washing machine? Huh? Have you seen a washing machine before? Animal that came from the village. My friend, wash this clothes and bring them inside. You want a washing machine? Look at this fool. Village goods. What did I say? Wash this clothes, bring them inside. You want the washing machine? Listen, I'm giving you just 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes, and after that, come inside and prepare my food. I don't want to see you sit down here and do nonsense. You want the washing machine? What is wrong with you? Why are you shivering? You're cold. 
You're not feeling fine. So why didn't you go to the hospital? Well, that's because I, I was busy. Go to the hospital now, please. Did you prepare the white soup and chicken I asked you to prepare for me this morning? Oh, I'm sorry, Mother. I could not do it because of my illness. I could not do it. You see how lazy and stupid you are? Eh? You could not do it. So because you're shivering, that is why I refused to prepare my white soup and chicken. And you are in my house, under my roof. I am not taking you to the hospital until you prepare my white soup and chicken. Stupid girl. Lazy fool. Okay, you dead. I want to eat jello fries. Hmm? Yes, and I want you to cook it now for me. Hold on. What did you just say? Are you deaf? Huh? I said I want to eat jello fries. <laughs> Babe, this is 2 a.m. And so? You want to eat jello fries by 2 a.m.? Yes, I want to eat jello fries. Is that a problem? Babe, there's no gas. Okay, let me go and microwave food for you to eat. Are you mad? Eh? Wonyara? How many times have I told you that I don't like microwaved food? Oh, you're planning on giving me cancer, right? No. Is that your plan? Babe, there's no, there's no gas in the house. You want me to, there's you want no me? gas. Go and make jello fries for me. I don't care how you make it. Leave this place. Get out. Leave here. Ah. Go. Go and make jello fries. There's no gas. There's no gas. Use firewood now. Are you not a village girl? Idiot. You must bring that jollof rice tonight. Look at the juice you requested for. Do you... Do you need anything else? What's the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? My friend, go back inside and make a fresh fruit juice for me and not this chemical you gave me to drink. I said, go in, are you mad? Go inside! If I want to get, get, are you still here? No! Get out! Animal! You stay still! Stupid girl! My friend, I was doing this last... Go inside, my friend! Stupid fool! Are you... If I... Nonsense. You always have this distant, sad look. Okay, have you tried discussing with him concerning this sex thing? Because it's no love making. No, actually. I have. 
But he said that if I'm not comfortable with it, I should leave. That, that is the only way he, he enjoys sex. And you know that he can actually go out there, get any woman of his choice that will satisfy him. You know he's rich. You think you can actually leave? No, I cannot leave Lugard. And that Lugard is the only one that helps my poor mother. My mother is a widow. We don't have anybody to help us. It's just Lugard. If I leave now, how are we going to survive? My mother will just kill herself. Because Lugard is her only hope, her source of income. And you know that it's very hard for you to see a guy that is financially stable these days and also a cheerful giver. Angel, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. It's just... So you want me to go around and be looking for um, men that are financially stable when I have look at? It's no better than him treating Dada, you this way now. Dada. Don't forget. The devil you know. Is better than the angel you don't know. So let me just be managing this one. Besides, my mother said he will change. I just don't like seeing you like this. Let me just drop this one. Keep going. So, that is trouble again. Shit. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, don't worry. Huh. My mother said he will change. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Eh? What happened to your works? Uh, you had accidents. Eh? Where is Lugard? Have you taken medication? Mama. Take she make it tell me. Mama, take it easy with the patients. Please. You just arrived. Please. Rest. The patient is just too much. Eh? One at a time, please. My daughter, forgive me. Eh? Heart of a mother, what do I do? Eh? Please tell me what happened to you. Can't go see Derek. I do all the more, Mama. I do all the more, Gemba. Mother. Hey, mother. Mother, I'm suffering. I am suffering, Mother. It's a long story, but I'll start from somewhere. And what we don't know, hmm? We don't. Mother, I'm suffering. I am suffering. Here or oh. I'm suffering in this house. <laughs> Mother, I know that what I'm about to tell you might upset you. <clears throat> but please, I need to do this for my own safety. I I don't think I 
I can continue this relationship with hey! you guys. My enemies are really at you, but this time they will not succeed. I know! Eh? I know that. <laughs> eh? Why would you say you don't want to continue? For what? Why? Mother, I am suffering. I'm suffering, Mother. I'm tired. I don't want to die young. Please. Mama, you will not die, will you? Mother. I will tell you everything. You know, I didn't think from you. Eh, tell you're me. my mother. Yes. Mother, see. Luca is a beast. Yes. It's not what you think. He beats me every minute. Any given opportunity he gets, he beats me like I'm a child. Mother, I don't remember the last time you laid your hands on me. But look at beats me every day. Even if someone wants to beat me, maybe someone sees me outside and feel like saying hi to me, he beats me. He doesn't want me to associate myself with anybody. I understand every man is protecting his woman, mm. but his own is too much. His own, he has anger issue. Mother, I'm scared. I don't want to lose my life. <laughs> You're not dying. Mother, you refuse to bring house help to be helping us. I'm the one that cooks, cleans, sweep. I wash his clothes. Mother, he refused to buy a washing machine in this big house. There is no washing machine. He said he prefers me washing his clothes with my bare hands. Mm -hmm. Is that no wickedness? In this new era, in this modern world. That's not all. Mother, do you know the worst part of it? There is this thing they call BDSM. BDSM? What is BDSM? Beating a woman while making love to her. Mm. Yes. Mother, look at drives pleasure in molesting me while making out with me. He beats me, he flogs me like I'm a dog. Mother, I'm not a dog, I'm a human. I can no longer take it. And that's not where he ends, so that's not all. He's still, his manhood is very big. His mouth is too massive and he will not even want to play with me, like touch me like a woman for me to get wet before penetrating. He will just push it. Boom! Hi! And the thing will shift my womb. Mother, what that man is carrying down there is a womb shifter. Mm -mm. It's not a manhood, it's a womb shifter, mother. I can no longer continue. Mm. All my ways is paining me because of the way he was handles me in bed. I'm tired. I'm tired. Mother, I'm having pains all over my waist because of this issue. What? Sorry. <sighs> Is there no way you can uh, endure and enjoy it? Endure oh. and enjoy what, Mother? Why are you talking like this? Did my father beat you and molest you while making love with you? Man, this one is like a, a modern. I uh, was ashamed. No, I don't like this modern. I prefer the ancient. What kind of thing is this? I've never seen this kind of thing before in my life. I've never experienced it. I'm very hungry. Hmm? Get me something to eat. Then after we'll talk about this fitting. Because this fitting you're talking about is really touching me. I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah? Mother, are you... You're so concerned. It's not like... You know, my daughter, I, you see, this aspect of work, it's not everybody that loves this house fitting. Eh, let's not talk. I will, I will talk to you about it. I will be able to tell you things. Eh? The only point here now is that beating and having sex. Therefore, the size of his, uh, his third leg and uh, this walk, that one is not. You can enjoy all those things. You can enjoy it. Well, I cannot yeah. enjoy it. His mouth is very big. It's like a bulldozer. Yeah, I cannot enjoy it. It's bigger than me. Please. Thank you so much for that. Ah, this no. outside is better. Eh? Yeah? Inside here, that AC would have freezed me. Hey! <laughs> ah, Mama, you should have told me to turn off the AC ah. for you. No, don't worry. But at least you're enjoying the fresh air outside. Hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's alright. Mama. Yes. I heard all you complained about Lugard, your husband, too. 
But that is not enough for you to quit. Mama, Mama, hold on, allow me to finish. You see, relationships are not all as sweet as it seems. Or as you see them, the way people talk about my own, my own, my own. It's not the way it sounds in the ear that it tests in the mouth. Huh? Every lizard has stomach ache. It is only when they show it to you that you know it. Or you see it. Come to think of it, husbands are scarce these days. How do you call? Oh, baby. To even get a rich one and a free giver like Lugard. Or oh, no, whoever is not easy. My daughter, you and I know that since that young man entered into our lives, he changed our lives. Quitting is like taking us back to poverty, living from hand to mouth. Hey, Mbam, please, for my sake, endure it. Help your innocent, poor widow mother. Be gone, one, don't beat. Mama, it's all right. I've heard all you said. You know, like I sacrificed my life for you. I want to sacrifice because you cannot die in this race. Eh? Stop crying. If anybody sees you cry, my looks as if it's uh, his so mother. I understand. Just endure. Eh? Just endure. A little time. You will come out of this victoriously. Bet me. Look at the change. Are you sure he will change? Huh. He will change. Honestly. It will be like magic. You will see him like this. One day he will wake up and he will be the, in fact, the most lovable angel you can think of in your life. You know what? Yeah? Okay, let's go inside. Hmm? Let me apply hot water and massage this your waist. Hmm? Oh, please take it easy, please. I will. You have handled me. Oh, let me help you. Mama, huh? my waist is paining me. Let me help you now. Ah, mm -hmm. you kicked me so hard on the way. Hey. Don't worry. Soon he will stop all these things. Mm -hmm. You should think of it, Ada. Nothing good comes easy. Maybe he will just change after the marriage. No. Says so good. Are you saying he's going to start learning how to use his left hand at old age? Huh? See, what is not everything? For me, I mean, happiness matters a lot. Everything shouldn't be all about money. Can you please clap for yourself? And who is talking of happiness? Money first, and every other thing can come after that. Sorry, I don't think it's when domestic violence is involved. And who is talking about domestic violence? My dear? When there is money, every other thing is not necessary. Please move it. Let's go, at please. The expense of my own life, okay? That's I value my life more than any amount of this world. That, that's for you. That's for you, please. Money. Okay. Oh. Oh, my 
alles nehmen. What are you doing with my phone? Huh? Idiot! Huh? It was ringing, so Listen. I decided to bring it for you. Do not ever in your miserable life touch my phone again. Am I understood? Yes. Get out! Leave! Yes, I can hear you. Uh, listen, I don't want to see you today. Okay? I'll be the one to call you when I want to see you, not you. More understood. So hold on. Alright, later. Angel! Angel! Are you deaf? Huh? Can't you hear your name? Are you are you now a deaf girl? Are you stupid? Um well I I want you to go in there, prepare me a fresh strawberry juice with enough ice. Okay? Hope I understood. Thank God you know I'm not deaf, Lugard. I am not deaf! And as for the fresh juice and ice, why don't you call one of your numerous girlfriends to do that for you? Are you talking back at me? Huh? No. So you're not calling me names. Are you are you mad? Huh? Do you not have a brain touch? Are you stupid? Am I not talking to you? I am not stupid, Lugat. I am not! I don't blame you. Shameless man! Continue carrying condoms and ladies' panties in your pockets. Nonsense! Angel, are you talking to me? Huh? Angel, oh, you've grown. Eh? You are now a big girl. It's my fault. I brought you all the way from that local village of yours to the city for you to enjoy life. And now you are here talking to me in that manner. No respect, no regard. Are you stupid? Even if I go out to sleep with girls, numerous girls, you should be happy that I use condom. Yes, I use protection. At least I'm safe. And then let me ask you. How dare you? Huh? How dare you snoop around my stuff? Are you... Are you mad? I'm asking you! Were you not the one that refused to buy washing machine in this house? Yes! You prefer me washing your clothes with my bare hands. That's how I was able to see this rubbish! Rubbish! Who owns this planet? It's too small. Enter! Enter! Enter!
you are not careful, no one will take it away, away from you. Ada, don't tell me you want Angel out so that you can slide in. Cassie, you are so despicable. You have such a dirty mind. <laughs> really? You are a storyteller. You don't know I've caught you on so many occasions staring at Lugard. It's not so unbelievable. Yes, I am so unbelievable. Because I'm saying the truth. You know the truth is this time. Can you just keep quiet until we get there? Yeah. Come down. You want to ease yourself? I said come down! Okay. I, I met with my pastor and he told me that my life is in danger <gasps> and it's only you, Angel, that can save me. Me? How? Good question. He said I should take you to this waste bin. You should ransack it. <gasps> Search for a yellow cellophane bag. Inside that yellow cellophane bag, you will see a white cellophane bag. Bring it to you, me. You mean I should enter this refuse dome? No. Enter legume. My friend, will you go there and start searching for it? You're, you're asking me questions. Start doing it. Go inside here. Look for a yellow cellophane. Open it. You see a white cellophane. Open it. Bring the thing here. Uh, Search for all of Let's I will deal with you now. Uh -uh. Hurry up, hurry up. I give you just two minutes. Okay? Two minutes to do this nonsense you're doing. 
что значит здесь сок. One more minute. Hey, go down. Go down. You are not if you're a city girl. Are you not a local girl? My friend, go inside there and look for what I asked you to look for. Bring it. Lazy girl. Open it. Good. Hey, will you marry me? Will you marry me, yes or no? Oh, my 
<laughs> Not at all. I was at home all through. I slept off like... <laughs> and it slipped my mind. I never intended doing it, so... So... Here is the game. This is the game. Mine! So... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know why you're so happy about this. Are you sure you want to do this? What kind of engagement was that? Ada? What kind of silly question is this? I don't understand. Come on. Oh God is a woman being, of course. Let's give him a chance. He will change. Exactly, Ada. Ada, I understand you. But my mother said, look at me change. Sure, exactly what I'm saying. He will change. Did you hear yourself talk? You are the one to live with this guy, not your mom. Right? Yes, but now that I'm about to be his wife, I think he will change. Hmm. So let me yeah. just give him a chance. I hope so. Uh, Ada, you are being dramatic and I don't like it. That's enough, Pasi. You are being dramatic and I don't like it. Why are you it? just carrying this whole thing on your head? You are the one carrying it on your head. What else? What so else? This girl? Is there something you are not telling us? I don't understand. Come on! I'm just consigned, okay? I'm just consigned. Stop being consigned. Look at this every girl's dream. Yes! An abusive man. Abusive my foot! We are talking of Lugard here. Look at her. Aren't you happy for her? Come on, let's celebrate. That's enough, girls. Please. Don't worry, Ada. I'm sure Lugard will change sure. once he marries me. Sure. Okay. I let's can't wait. Have fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, um. Put a smile on your face. Yeah, I'm smiling. I'm happy for you to change. Sure, he will change. Okay. Okay, change. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Just to win you, beginning new life. Thank you. Love you.